When inflation moves steadily towards 2%, we will seek to phase out negative rates, yields curve control and other large-scale monetary easing measures, the Bank of Japan governor said today. As a matter of fact, other major central banks adhere to the same 2% concept. However, Japan's situation is unique in that its central bank is preparing to tighten its monetary policy for the first time since 2016, while others will soften them. The general decisive factor for changes in the monetary policy will be the same inflation targets. For example, Factory inflation in Japan grew by 0.6% in February compared to last year although it was the highest producer price index in a few months. It's still very far from the converted to 2%. That's uh, the yen was pushed down to its previous weak positions and is its pressure on the US dollar and the euro. Data on a consumer prices in the United States were published today and the annual rate of a consumer inflation unexpectedly rose to 3.2 percent in February. At the same time, analysts had predicted that the annual CPI would remain at the general level of 3.1 percent. At the same time, the main increase, more than 60 percent, was provided by housing and the gasoline prices. Meanwhile, core prices, which exclude volatile food and energy prices, fell to a new three-year low of 3.8 percent. Thus, higher than expected inflation rates reduced the likelihood of an earlier rate cut by the Federal Reserve and also caused the recovery of the US dollar. As reports showed, the Federal Reserve has not yet been able to achieve a stable slowdown in a consumer inflation. This leads to a rather simple and, at the same time, extremely unpleasant for investors' conclusion. No decrease in the official funds rate should be expected this spring. Apparently, those skeptics who predicted that the US central bank would move on to easing monetary policy no earlier than the fall were right. In any case, no one expects such a dec decision from the Federal Reserve meeting on March 20. Meanwhile, experts are considering at least three rate cuts this year, most likely starting in June. The S&P 500 index has set record closing levels 16 times since January before the index was overheated. Since yesterday's session, it has been consolidating in the calendar of a 5,111 to 5,112 points. But US inflation data gave the S&P 500 another bullish impulse, and it began to rise towards the round mark of 5,140. The US dollar seems to be winning twice, both as a high-yielding asset and a safe haven currency. In the first half of the day, activity in the financial markets slowed down, but after the release of inflation statistics, the picture perked up. As a result, the US dollar index moved from a narrow flat to growth again in relation to its rivals. The index easily overcame the 103 level and moved up towards the technical resistance of 103.6. As for the euro-dollar pair, the situation is now clearly in favor of the greenback. The single currency appeared to be overvalued on the back of a big economic growth in the eurozone, as well as a realistically early rate cut in Europe compared to the United States. So, the US dollar will be able to win back a considerable part of its recent losses in the medium. On the other hand, the fact that gasoline and energy prices made the largest contribution to rising inflation in the United States may limit the pair's decline. So far, the euro has moved from a consolidation in the range of 1.0920 to 1.0940 to pull back to about 1.0905. However, despite the correction, the euro-dollar pair is still in the short-term upward trend. Therefore, it certainly risks falling into the support area at 1.0860. 
However, given the uptrend, the price will likely eventually find a bottom, recover and resume its rise. And in this case, a break above 1.0955 will be more convincing evidence of a resumption of the uptrend. However, despite the correction, the euro-dollar pair is still following a short-term uptrend. The instrument will eventually find a bottom, recover and resume its rise. The oil situation remains unchanged. Brand crude is still trading in the range between $82 and $83 per barrel, occasionally shifting to its lower border. Apparently, until the upcoming policy decision by the Federal Reserve on March 20, significant changes in crude oil prices will hardly occur. By the way, inflation data in the United States and the recent ACB's policy meeting failed to move oil prices. A local price drop to the area of 81.80 eventually attracted buyers. And this, in turn, allowed Brand to resume trading in the usual range of 81 and 50 and 84 dollars per barrel. Perhaps investors Hesitancy can also be explained by disagreements between the OPEC cartel and the International Energy Agency. Experts from the two groups presented a strikingly different forecast for the global oil demand in 2024. The difference is about 1% being the highest since 2008. You have watched the market review by InstaForex analysts for Tuesday, March 12. Subscribe to InstaTraders TV channel and we keep you updated on recent market developments. Don't miss our videos. Your feedback is appreciated. See you online tomorrow.